Um, so, we'll make a new canvas. And uh, all right, so here we go. So we can we can begin with uh, by describing. We start with an agent at rest. And now. Uh, we might imagine that we want our, our agent to deliver a message or, or ring someone up using their, uh, their cell phone to keep our metaphor. So here's a little depiction, and we can see that um, uh, there's a kind of sequencing in time. Sort of after delivering the message, then we move on uh, to being an agent in risk, in, at rest. So, we, so uh, sequencing in time is kind of um, uh, depicted by... by uh, the dimension into the page, as it were, and sort of the farther back in time, the grayer the object gets. So, in particular, we might imagine that um, you know, if this if this denotes making a cell phone call, the number that we call this uh, channel here um, uh, is actually delivered to us from a call at another number. So here's here's us receiving a call. Our agent receiving a call, and we can imagine that um, that uh, whatever number we receive when when the the agent receives uh, the call, uh, that is in fact binding the number that we call here. And of course, we can have uh, multiple agents. So again, we can build up our agents uh, starting from an agent at rest and uh, perhaps we want to um, again have this one receive a message and after it receives this message then it goes on to being an agent at rest and we can think about uh, various ways to aggregate these two agents. So one obvious one, one sort of very straightforward and natural, natural uh, um, means of aggregating uh, uh, agent behaviors is to um, just simply place the agent side by side. So we, we say that our our agents are autonomous or independent. They're running in parallel, so to speak. And we'll denote the, the, the running in parallel by, by the little vertical bar here, uh, denoting that they are, in fact, autonomous side by side. Um, but uh, there's, another, there's another kind of operation that we can think about, um, which is that, that, in fact, these are two alternate uh, futures or alternate timelines for one agent. There's there's a moment of choice. You know, either we make this call, we receive this call, or we receive that call. And uh, so we we have this kind of operation here. Um, that uh, we denote uh, with a, a a plus or summation. And and when we use this this operation. We see these as two sort of alternate futures, or, or, or alternatively alternate histories.